Welcome to Clover Wheels channel. This is the beginning of one amazing project story where I will try to get this special Ford Escort Mark IV back to life after 20 years of abandonment. XR3 I steering wheel and seats are less special than car's body itself. Yes, this is Escort Express, or simply, van. Also, this car features an original roof rack. It's powered with my Seaton 1.8 diesel. But there is brand new and shiny fuel filler cap. I got this car from neighbor country in late 2019, and left it abandoned for another two years, until the right time has come. If you forgot to start your car engine for two decades, it's necessary to do some checks and preparing actions. You can be sure, that all technical fluids are long gone and have to be replaced. That's why, it is good to start from engine oil and filter replacement. Oil pan contents have safely locked themselves by fused drain plug. But after some hours with various tools and thinking, drain plug decided to switch sides. It seems, that motor oil have turned back to crude oil again. As engine is almost free from ancient oil, now we can move to next part. We need to add kerosene to all cylinders, for removing hardened residues from piston rings. First of all, we remove all glow plugs. You have to be very delicate to do this uncomfortable task, but sometimes, it's necessary to use hammer. Also, you have to be very patient and calm, because car repairing won't be always easy. Use suitable storage bins, for removed parts. Otherwise, it could cost you your time and money. Glow plug removal and installing will make your fingers much more stronger and better coordinated. For me, they look pretty good. For safe kerosene handling, it's better to use large medical syringe with suitable hose. Be careful, this fluid is very toxic. But you can safely use it, for engine resurrection purposes, that's why we add some amount in every cylinder. Let kerosene do its job, maybe repeat it few times more, and only then move to next step. I couldn't crank engine from first try. I think that alternator should be removed. For my luck, it is the alternator that stops engine from turning. And now, we are witnesses for first engine turns, it's definitely a great motivational moment for further work. Good cleaning and few turns of pneumatic gun, made this alternator for 20 years younger. Also, new electric cables were made, because old ones were stolen. Despite my activities in this van, electrical wiring was not eaten. But anyway, car has a lot of electrical problems, due to broken parts or oxidized connections. It will be long repair, to make all electrics work properly, but it will be worth it. Let's get back to engine. Looks like that kerosene have done its work. Cheapest oil and oil filter, will be used for first engine start and later flushing. After adding some extra grip, such as nail for concrete, makes old oil filter, willing to leave the engine. New one will take his place, hopefully without same sticking issues. Hard work makes you older, there comes a moment, when you have to give away for young ones. It is very important to add fresh oil to all parts, that you can reach. Piston rings are no exception too. This air filter definitely have seen better days. Old fuel filter agreed with him too. Other day, I have added diesel fuel to fuel lines and filter. Improvised fuel tank was installed, because I don't trust genuine one. 
overdose of antifreeze was successfully eliminated. It is dangerous to keep running car engine inside garage, but as this car can't move, I have made specially designed exhaust pipe. Now I feel much safer. And now, we are ready for resurrection. Yes, the battery have died. Also, I have forgot to close fuel filter bleeding screw. It means, that it's time for lunch. A few hours later. This is a fantastic moment, when you are managed to return something back to life. Hope that you liked this video. See you in next Van Resurrection Project series.